Hello everyone. In this video we will learn how to use the detailed massing feature. Our detailed massing tool is mainly used to create representations of buildings or structures with vertical repetition. To start, let's navigate to the command dock and select Buildings, then select Massing. A side menu will appear with the two massing options. Click on Detailed Massing and select Add Volume. Use the Legacy Polyline tool to draw points on the map and create a polygon with a minimum of three points. A floating menu will appear close to the first point, which can be moved to anywhere on your screen. To complete the shape, click Done. Redraw to start over. Label allows you to hide dimensions and angles while Cancel lets you undo the action. In the Massing Setup menu, you can customize the color of the massing. Specify the typical floor height and set the total number of floors. It's important to note that once the massing is created, levels cannot be added or removed. To make adjustments, click on Edit Sketch to redraw the massing shape or select Delete to cancel the operation. Once you've defined the parameters, click Confirm to proceed to the next step. In this new window, the Detailed Massing tool gives you the ability to create unique floor plans by modifying the shape and parameters for each floor. Simply click the Pen tool to edit the name of your massing. You can also edit the label and floor height for each floor by double-clicking the field and adding a new value. To customize floor shapes, click the three dots menu on a specific floor and choose Edit Floor Perimeter. You have the option to either change the selected level and all those above it with current and all above, or to change only that specific level using current only. You can move, delete and add points, or even redraw the shape entirely. Click and drag a point to reposition it, and right-click to delete. You can also simply select a point and press delete. Add a new point by clicking on any of the lines and dragging the new point. Any changes you make will automatically update the detailed massing. Utilize the translate, rotate, and snapping functionalities to adjust the massing position. Once done, click the close icon to exit the massing menu. The created massing card will be visible in both the massing menu and the model browser. To edit the massing, click on the pencil icon on the massing card. Double-click on the object or right-click and select Edit. Lastly, if you want to change the color of any floor within the detailed massing, right-click on that floor and choose Change Color. In this window, you can adjust the color and opacity of that floor of the detailed massing. Lastly, click the Reset button to revert back to the original color and opacity of that floor. In this video, We've covered the process of creating building representations and 3D objects using our detailed massing tool. In our next video, we will discuss importing schedules to create milestones. Thank you for watching.